pin guide and fixation base must be inserted and pinned properly for stability, accuracy, and setting the foundation for the subsequent stackable items. If the pin guide delivers the fixation base differently than planned, the implants, bone reduction, and teeth will not be correct. The pin guide must be fully seated and verified by using the occlusal windows. Once seated with the fixation base, the drilling and pinning can commence. While holding the pin guide firmly in place through the entire process, the doctor must drill one site at a time and place each pin after the site is drilled. Do not hammer the pin into place until all pins are inserted. This will increase accuracy and passivity of the pin guide. If the first pin is seated and hammered, the guide will move and accuracy is lost. Many doctors have started using Neosporin on the chrome pins. This provides better hygiene and allows the pins to slide into the fixation base easier. Once all the pins are seated, use a surgical mallet and the end of a mirror or other instrument and tap the pins until they are flush with the fixation base. You can see it's got a nice cortical pipe. The audible low thud will change to a higher pitched sound once the pin reaches the metal. Repeat this process for all pins to successfully seat the fixation base for the next stage of surgery.